um, grades, because grades are definitely important. If a lot of times if you don't have the grades, then a lot of times people won't even consider you. So it's really important to make sure, especially freshmen, sophomores, because um, now is the time that you can really impact your grade point average to make sure that you keep it as high as possible. But also, uh, the leadership experience I had on campus. I was involved in a couple, a few, I don't know how many organizations when I was on campus. Uh, and each one of them, I wasn't involved in a lot. I was involved in enough where I could actually make a difference in those that I was in. I wasn't, you know, such and such member, such and such member, such and such member on my resume. It was whatever organization, leadership experience, whatever organization, some type of leadership experience. Because people want to know that. In your interviews, they're going to ask you what you're going to talk about later. Tell me about a time where this. If you're a member and all you're doing is basically doing what other people tell you to do, you won't have those kind of experiences to talk about. And that's what sets people apart. And I feel like that's um, set me apart. Are you taping this? Okay. <laughs> Good to know. <laughs> uh, me personally, I was a little bit of a nerd, I'll admit. So, <laughs> so um, personally what set me apart when it came to the Ernst & Young interview is before Ernst & Young came to campus, I was in Dr. Hill's office just because I wanted to pass her class. Like, I don't know if anyone heard of Dr. Hill, but I was taking her auditing class. And I was in her office every day before and after class, doing homework, asking her questions, being fully prepared for class. And I was like the teacher's pet. I live in. So in class, I was always talking. Were you in my class? Advanced audit? Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, no. The, um, the undergrad. Yeah, undergrad. So, but yeah, that one too. But that's my buddy for life. But anyway, um, so prior to the Ernst & Young interview, I was really, I just really wanted to pass that class. So I was on the grind. So when Ernst & Young came to campus and I knew that Dr. Hill had done internships with Ernst & Young, I went to her office and I talked to her and I told her that I really, really wanted the internship. I really wanted to work in Atlanta for Ernst & Young. And I asked her if she could put in a good work for me when they came. And she said she would love to. So I really feel like, honestly, me going to her and being open with her about what my goals in life were and what I, what I wanted to do just helped put, put it in her head that, okay, let me recommend her to Ernst & Young. Because at that time, although I, I was on the grind in her office all the time, she had a bad memory a little bit. So she couldn't, <laughs> she would always call me Alex instead of Alexis. And I'm like, Dr. Hill, I'm going to write it down. I say Alexis when they come. <laughs> Because at that time, we had only been in class for like a couple of weeks, maybe three or four weeks or something like that. So still, if you have teachers that you are really close with or feel like you have that type of relationship with, you more than welcome to go and talk to the teachers because we do accept um, teacher recommendations and we actually go to the teachers and ask them for recommendations. Absolutely. And not only um, professors, and, she, and she's right on, we literally will go up to a professor and say, who do you know that you think Ernst & Young should know? Um, so to the point that you guys have good relationships with them um, or are in their class and are doing the right things, that really does make a big difference, as well as with our EY FAMU ambassadors. EY FAMU ambassadors, please raise your hand. So there's three in this room. There are um, probably about 15 on campus um, who have not graduated and started with us. So we will also reach out to them, and, and now they're going to be accepting money and donations for putting in a good word. Don't do that. But we do go reach out to them as well and say, who are your peers, who are your friends, colleagues that you think would do a really great job at Arnold City Young? And they're great people for, um, you know, they're highly um, credible sources because they've already gone through the recruiting process with us. They were successful. They did internships with us and did extremely well. So chances are, you know, birds of a feather flock together, right? And, and they'll know some great other students on campus that we want to um, be in front of. Anything else? Um, so I think a lot of um, 